Al, Maria, back yep. to you. All righty. Thank you so much, Maria. I mean, uh, Jen. <laughs> uh, you know, in the... <laughs> In the next few years, we may know exactly what is warming our planet. All right. Uh, that is the goal the goal of a group of NASA scientists who showed the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff a scanner that can track greenhouse gases from outer space. Every year, the U.S. pumps thousands of metric tons of carbon dioxide into the sky. And that's just one country. Even more blows in from the rest of the world. Mostly from China. And the second competitor in that race is the United States of America. It's a hot political issue. Just what is carbon doing to the planet? Liftoff of the Taurus rocket with OCO. NASA is about to launch a detective in the sky that could once and for all solve some mysteries. Where is the carbon coming from? We'll finally be able to pinpoint those places. I hate to oversimplify it, but it looks like a solar-powered camera. Is that <laughs> is that what it is? That would be an, actually a pretty accurate way to, to uh, describe things. Really. Two summers from now, NASA's orbiting carbon Observatory 2, we'll explain that number in a moment, will launch on a mission to scan the Earth. And this is what you're looking for. This is what we're looking for. What so is this that? is a beautiful piece of coal. Coal is mostly pure carbon. Use it in a power plant and you get carbon dioxide. And that gas is produced every time you light a fire, start your car, uh, or even exhale. Problem is, carbon in the atmosphere traps heat and makes the planet warmer. How much CO2 is emitted by California versus how much gets blown in from China? OCO2's camera can see where it's all coming from and where it's going. Now here's something you may have never heard before. Somewhere on Earth, the Earth is absorbing about half of all the carbon dioxide that's being emitted by these human activities. We don't know where. Weird, right? Somewhere on Earth, trees have to be growing to absorb more carbon dioxide as we keep putting out more carbon dioxide. We don't know where. That's why they're building this high-res carbon camera. Have you ever seen it in real life? I have only seen it through a mirror, through a window. Problem is, they've tried this once before in 2009. The satellite you see here is the second try. The first one... The whole system uh, fell in the, the South Pacific Ocean. Nessa says it will be years before their first carbon maps come in. But when they do, we may finally be able to answer some burning questions about the stuff we burn. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. So does that mean Santa won't be able to put coal in anybody's stock? Perhaps, hmm, perhaps. Right. Well, still ahead on Wake Up With Al, expected and unexpected signs of the season. And rain's already thrown Northern California drivers' curves. We'll have more on that coming up.